Hello, I'm Jordan and you're not. And this is my review on George Romero's Zombie series. So let's get started. First we'll take a little trip back to 1968 with the original, Night of the Living Dead. <clears throat> so this movie is a classic. It's basically the, the birth of the zombie genre. And it's, I mean, it's creepy, it's classic, it has a, has a good storyline. So it starts with um, Johnny and Barbara, they're in a grave to visit their, their dad's grave or something. Then they get attacked by a zombie, and there's that famous line, They're coming to get you, Barbara, or something like that. So Barbara escapes and makes it to a farmhouse, and she's later joined by Ben, and then she kind of goes a little crazy, and later joined by the Coopers and Tom and Judy, and they try to survive the night of the zombies of Night of the Living Dead. And it has, you know, some pretty cool gore scenes, you know, stuff at that time, I guess, was controversial. And, uh, so yeah, it's a really good movie. I gave it an, I gave it an A. Then they even did a <coughs> colorized version of it. You know, Living Dead is in color. It's not, it's pretty good. Then in the 90s, they remade it by Tom Savini. And it's, um, it's not too bad. It, it's basically the same storyline, but it's, it has a better ending regarding Barbara's fate. I like that ending better. It has Tony Todd, so. Then we, oh crap, this movie sucks. Now to the Living Dead 3D with Sid Haig, Captain Spaulding. This movie is horrible. It's not even on par with the original. They even show, there's even a scene where they show them watching the original movie and they're like, then zombies just happen to show up and they're like, we shouldn't have watched that movie! And they just... Okay, next we come to another awesome classic. In 1978, there was, uh, Dawn of the Dead. So it's kind of a sequel. What is a sequel? And um, this is it. this one's like another hardcore grindhouse classic. I mean, and uh, these uh, people, um, Stephen, Peter, Fran, and Roger, they trying to escape the, the zombie madness, and they go out in a helicopter and they arrive at a mall, and they try to get rid of all the zombies, and they live in the mall for I don't know a few months, I guess, and so they try to. Then there's these bikers show up, and they try to have an all-out war with them. I love the zombie gore at the very end, and there's that famous line, when there's no more room in hell, the dead will walk the earth. So I give it an A, too. Then in 2004, 2005, whatever, I don't care, they remade it, uh, Dawn of the Dead remake. It's like a, like a really balls-out, hardcore version of it, and just, it's basically, I mean, it has the same storyline, people seeking refuge in a mall, but it, there's different characters and different kind of different stuff. It's it's okay, B minus I guess. Now we go to 1985 with the darkest day of horror the world has ever known. Uh, Day of the Dead. So I have to say good things about this movie, or else my one of my Facebook friends is gonna kill me, Sarah. So I like Day of the Dead is okay, but I don't like it as well as Night and Dawn. As a matter of fact, if you only see day, like, like, daylight, like, maybe the first ten minutes of the movie, then, like, the last ten minutes of the movie, it's mostly spent, like, underground, like, in a, in a cave or something. So these, uh, people, uh, oh, as a matter of fact, there is a character named Sarah in this. Huh? I guess that's why she likes it so much. There's, you know, these people seek, you know, refuge underground. There's, there's pretty much hardly anyone that's not really likable in this movie. But the, the things I do like is Bub, the, this awesome zombie who, who kind of becomes smart and learns. He's pretty cool. I like Bub. Don't mess with Bub. And then the zombie gore at the very end when people are being ripped apart. And it's awesome. I love that. Especially with Captain Rhodes being ripped apart. So, yeah, it's very, uh, has a nostalgic feel to it. And very, you know, very 80s look of it. Instead, it was the third and the final of, you know, the, at that time. I thought it was going to be the last one, but they made some more. So I give it a. Uh, B plus, I guess. Sarah, please don't kill me. <clears throat> oh my goodness. Now we have a crappy sequel. Day of the Dead 2. Yes, they actually made Day of the Dead 2 Contagium. It says on the back it's part prequel, part sequel, and a total gut-ripping, gore-spewing homage to the original. Wow, what a fuck-up. This movie is 
horrible and has nothing to do with Romero's zombie series at all. In fact, the the remake, the remake I'll get to in a little bit, it has more in common with the Day of the Dead original than this does. It, it, I mean, it takes place like in a mental hospital and they show all these, and the zombies talk in this movie. Zombies talk in Day of the Dead 2. It sucks. Don't watch it. Uh, okay, yeah, now we come to Day of the Day of the Dead remake, which hardly has anything to do with the original 1985 version, and it mostly takes place at night in a hospital where the zombies just happen to be awakened, and there's only like five characters from the original that they mention, like Captain Rose, who's a black guy, and this one, and Bub has been renamed to Bud, and it's just, and the zombies run, and they crawl on the walls like spider monkeys or something, so, yeah, don't watch us. C minus, I guess. Okay, now we come to Land of the Dead. Uh, I love this movie. I actually like Land of the Dead. It's, uh, it was made in 2005, I believe, and it's just a really, really awesome zombie flick. Directed by George Romero. It has a lot of awesome, cool characters, like, uh, Riley, Cholo, Kaufman. He's kind of a like the dictator of the at Fiddler's Green who makes people go out in dead reckoning and just kind of get supplies while the you know while the poor people have to live in the streets while the rich people get to live in Fiddler's Green and um so uh Cholo I believe is his name he kind of gets tired of it so he you know takes dead reckoning over and he kind of holds the Kaufman for ransom or he's going to blow up his little the uh the big uh skyscraper and it's uh, I really like it it's a really good movie I give it an A plus it's a really awesome zombie movie. It has good good gore effects and just a good storyline. Uh, now we have Diary of the Dead. Dr. George Romero's Diary of the Dead. And I didn't really like this one too well. It was just, I don't know, I liked like the first maybe five minutes of it, but just the like the first person camera point of view just I didn't, didn't really go too well with the, with this zombie genre. And it was it was kind of boring. Like it didn't live up to the other movies and just Meh. It's kind of what's kind of like a reboot, like starting over, like showing how the zombies came to be. So it's not really like a direct sequel to Land of the Dead or anything. But I don't really like it. I give it like a C minus or D plus, I guess. So uh, one more I gotta mention: Survival of the Dead. I don't have it, but I rented it a few months ago, and it was okay. It was better than Diary of the Dead. I'll give it that. And these uh, people, well, the was. Um, a National Guardsmen that were shown in Diary of the Dead kind of become the main stars in that one. And they team up with, they're like, they go to this place where there's like two feuding families, like family feud. <laughs> and um, like one family believes that the dead should be saved until like a cure is found. And the other family believes that the dead should be, like, they should be killed, you know, to put the zombies out of their misery. And I guess that's it. So I guess my favorites would be Night of the Living Dead, that's one of my favorites, Dawn of the Dead, and Land of the Dead. So these are my top three favorites. Mm -hmm -hmm. Boom, Dawn of the Dead. <laughs>